What's up, family? Get a news report, Mary Dance, Tony Mary and Lee. Today is November the 11th. Freedom Friday in my city, Chicago. 2022 is the year. To wrap up portion of the day, it's also Veterans Day. I hope everybody uh, enjoyed their day. I enjoyed mine. I didn't have too much of a um, headache today. I wanted to see if uh, people somewhat cared about the ones that came before them and the ones that stood up for them and the ones that died for them to have the little freedom and liberties that they do have might not be much it's not what i anticipated for me and for my real americans that put in the work for the ones that got away with all the money to be able to enjoy themselves as well you know everybody has a conscience and in the end The ones that got away with all them millions and billions and trillions and zillions and left, you know, people like me that did the most to afford them the opportunity to even be able to accumulate and get rid of, you know, get rid of uh, the ones such as myself. Mary Lee, you'll get a news reporter and originator of rap music since the age of eight in 1975 and stood up for myself at the age of six in 1973 of being a child abuse victim um i guess i gave my my um ops that's what you want to call them so-called family and friends some mary mcamirers you know the american dream on a silver platter oh i bought into my own demise this year um uh, sure McDonald's shirt. It said, deeply rooted in the community, 365 days a year. You know, they said the Obama um, Museum that people are working on and supposed to be done in 2025 in my city, Chicago, on Stony Island, right off the uh, 63rd. Uh, Somebody left a noose and um, they had to stop working on it today, being Veterans Day. If you just wanted the day off, just say you wanted the day off or whatever and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? You didn't have to come up with some kind of controversy. And if that's the case, somebody did leave a noose, um, it's obvious the community is in unity because it's unity in the word community. And why would you put a billion dollar, you know, project up if the community isn't put together first, you know, we still hanging nooses in 2022, almost 2023, we haven't gotten anywhere, um, people went out their way to, um, crap on my legacy, my rap legacy, and my humanitarian, um, gift that I wanted to give back to the people who helped me be able to stand on my own two feet, and who raised me as far as street people and, you know, all walks of life, me being a ward of the state, but more so than anything, you know, a real person. You know, I wanted to come full circle and give back like people gave to me for me me to be able to, you know, reach the age of 55 that I am, you know, right now. On May 25th, 1967, it's hard trying to get to, 56, boy, they making it hard. I'm telling you, it ain't been no bed of roses. But yeah, we was all supposed to be a billionaire the way I had calculated it in my head. But, you know, you can never underestimate another person's greed. And it's unfortunate it was the ones who was close to me who did the most damage. You know, I was violated by five guys, but the ones who did me the worst and that I put all my trust and faith in, you know, the, that hurt it worse than getting violated by five guys as a little girl. So I hope you um, are satisfied, the ones who did the most. Family, friends, next to kin, so-called Mary McAmyers. I'm not saying everybody, but they, they know who they are. You know, they, they strategically ruined my life to the point I can't even get decent housing, I can't really be myself. I can't even go to a show and sit down without 
being seated in a seat that I might not want to stay in because somebody next to me might be, you know, a nuisance. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. You know, things have changed drastically to the point where, you know, I feel as though they have taken all my rights from me and I'm a grown-ass motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? And that's unfortunate because we are going backwards and I did not um sign up for all this mess. I'm in a trap building, 6210 South Kimbach Avenue, Chicago, North 60637, apartment 308, the one with the white door. Do not knock on it and stuff because, you know, I will not answer it. But just to let people know, I'm an open book, been an open book, and, you know, I can't understand how people miss the blessing, for real, that was sent from heaven as a gift, me being a gift to you, to be able to, you know, further our um, good tidings, if that's what you want to say, you know, and cheer throughout the world. You know, I feel sorry for the young people because... I don't know if they'll be able to get another person like myself to um, guide them the way that I guided the ones who I thought were my family and friends and next to kin. But, you know, God help those who help themselves. Hopefully, you know, next generation won't have it as bad. But the way I see it, it's going to be a hot mess. But hopefully somebody will be able to change it around before it gets too bad. <laughs> they, 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 they destroyed stuff. I've been doing this almost 50 years, since the age of six, 1973, standing up for myself and others like me, and especially against child trafficking and child abuse and things of that nature. <sighs> almost 50 years, and they tore it all apart within 10 to 15 years. Sad. So you know what I do, people? I break these balls right here. I flip the Bible. Just, just try to get a little closure. 2023, I'm going back to being me, which is basically, you know, minding my business like I should have done from the beginning. They said, don't trust nobody. You understand what I'm saying? And that's the truth, you know. Um, so there's no trust in relationship. There's no, everybody's going to be suspicious of one another and stuff. So y'all all have always have to be on guard, for real. And that's paranoia, but, you know. I'm not going to be paranoid. I'm just I'm not going to trust nobody and shit for real. You know, I should have never did it. You know, money tends to make people lose their mind and control and trying to control people. And people look for an excuse to get out of work and, um, you know, get something for nothing. You know, that nobody wants to work and stuff, you know. And, and I've always known that, you know, hard work or, you know, work in general, you know, keeps your mind off of nonsense and you know god bless the child that got his own and especially they own mine ain't no honor amongst thieves so in the end when it all boils down and the ones that got away think about it zillions that's a lot of money that's a lot of money you understand what i'm saying we was all supposed to be billionaires tax-free i mean I, I don't understand why people are not upset but hey, you know, I'm glad I learned this lesson early on. So let me go ahead and finish this off. And I hope y'all had a um wonderful day spending my money. I try to go to a movie to see Wakanda forever, but it just didn't feel right, you know. I, I still feel like I'm being exploited, you know what I'm saying? Everything I do. So I'm just gonna have to keep it simple. All right, Martin Luther King was born January the 15th. You know, I am the manifestation of that dream. Five and one is six. Like I said, I was in Chicago sometimes. It was maybe at the age of six, 1973. This the number one. You know, I really did do it. Put it together, that's 16. You understand what I'm saying? Well, that's his birthday, 115. You know, in AA, they gave me a um, trophy. Somebody has it. And um, I gave it to Bank America with $5 and this movie called Rudy. It's a football mo mo movie. It's a good movie. And, you know, I wanted to invest in myself. 
I wanted to see if I could do it. But yeah, this is his birthday, 115. And they gave me a trophy at an AA meeting in, at the Harvey 100 Club. You know, I gave my true story, you know, like I just basically gave to you. And um, they gave me a trophy with his birthday on it. And my name, Merely Davis. So I've come full circle. So I earned my crazy check that they trying to take from me. They act like it's not a veteran's check. You know, it ain't much, but, you know, it's only about you know, a little over 10000 a year. I can't do nothing but stay stuck on stupid because they've given me a felony. You understand what I'm saying? I would have thought they would have given me a pardon, but, you know, for some I did not do disarm the police officer May 31st, 2008, but that would have been too much like right. But everybody has a conscience, and one day, you know, before it's too late, and I don't want to be one of them people where, you know, I'll be all old and they be like Miss Jane Pitt in the story, you know, be walking to the water fountain and stuff just to get a drink out the white folks' water fountain. You understand what I'm saying? I don't want that story. You can keep that. Well, it's about 11.59 because this, uh, this is, uh, this is a little, it's a little faster. Let's go with this here. Bible scripture. It's Ezekiel chapter 35 and 36. Three plus five is eight. That's how I do things. It's on page 770. It's on page 771. 77, 78. You understand what I'm saying? But 77 is... There's 14. Now, they said Emmett Till was 14 years old when he allegedly got killed in Money, Mississippi for whistling at a white lady. Now, they are marrying black guys and doing the most. And, you know, it is what it is. So, we're going to do 35, 36, and 37. Matter of fact, let's do 38, too. Smoking 38. Look at that. 11, 11, 22. That's what I wrote right there. I've come full circle. You see that? Today is the 11. 11, 11, 22. Right here, I wrote Veterans Day. You understand what I'm saying? God had already, you know, written what um, I was supposed to do. I'll put it in my heart by the time I got to earth. I knew early on I was going to be somebody. And people did too. And that's why I kept getting harassed and railroaded. So for all the veterans out there that did die or stand up for me to be able to do what I'm doing, and that be your ghetto news reporter and anything else, uh, I appreciate you. I appreciate me, and I appreciate the ones to come. With that, you'll get a new support on here, guys. It's going to land in the lake. Peace.